So it's time to feed the worms and <clears throat> we haven't been eating much kale, so I figure I'll give them some kale for starters. I'm also going to grab so feed the worms. I'm just going to pick these strawberries. They've got mold on them. Nobody wants them anymore. Chop those up. I'm going to do the same thing with these apples. And I'm also going to throw this kale in. Alright. So, I've chopped all this stuff up into smaller portions. And I'm just going to put it into this blender. This is all I use this blender for. Okay, so I have a mix of kale, apples, and strawberries. I um, I stay away from things like tomatoes, onions, citrus, stuff like that. I don't want to put a ton of that kind of stuff in here. I kind of like the their food to be kind of mild. Okay, point down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this mix on one side of the bin, just right here, right on the top. And the worms will come and get it pretty soon. But this should make them happy. Another thing, I don't add any additional water to the bin itself. I've saturated the bin pretty well whenever I, uh, right before I put the worms in there, but I'm not going to, um, put water in constantly. I'm just going to let them use the water that's in the food and just make sure that I feed them pretty regularly. Okay, so it's been a few days since I fed the worms and let's take a look at them and see what they're doing. Should be a a bunch of them Running around here, yep, there, and there, there, let's see a bit under here, yep, and there. Okay, so something else that I feed the worms are eggshells. Now, I uh, do them separately from the rest of their food. And what I do is I put them in this toaster oven. Yes, it's seen its better days. And I just let them sit in there for about 10 minutes on 250. Okay, so we've cooked them for about 10 minutes at 250. I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to put them out into a um, into this Krups um, coffee bean grinder that I had. It's not really made for this, but it does a great job. And I don't use this thing anymore. For Should be enough, and I get it pretty fine. And now, what I'm going to do with these is I will either um, sprinkle them over the um, the worm bin, kind of like a fine uh, layer. I won't really mix it in with the food. I'll just kind of put it around the outer edges of the food. And uh, if I'm not going to use it right away, I'll generally put it in a Tupperware container and put it in the roof, uh, the freezer. So.
there's an extra tip for you. And the worms are supposed to like this. It's supposed to kind of give them some extra get up and go.